Okay, guys, we have officially achieved the largest unboxing yet on this channel. Uh, this right here is the, you see that? The Piranha Overhead Fishing Rod Rack. And I think we got two racks, the wall-mounted fishing rod rack. So what we're gonna do, because I have no idea what's in these boxes, is we're gonna unbox it we're gonna see what's in here and then we're gonna install it wherever the heck I can figure out to install this thing and test it. This is a review of the Piranha Rod Rack Systems. So I have no idea. So it looks like these guys are based in Florida and they happen to reach out to me to do a review. They sent me this for free. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Again, this would be the biggest unboxing on the channel and the biggest, heaviest free thing that I've gotten so far on the channel. So I'm thankful to them for that. Hopefully it stacks up, hopefully it's great, and we're gonna install it, we're gonna figure this thing out. Before we get to the construction, if this is your first time stopping by the channel and you like content like this, gear reviews, unboxings, and more, as well as tons of fishing content, consider subscribing. Smash a like on this video, it helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. And ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more content. Let's build stuff. So I think this is two racks. Let's figure this out first. It's probably the first thing we need to know, huh? Okay, okay. Lots and lots of tape to hold this together. Neat. All right. And we have reduced this now to two individual boxes. Not sure where I'm gonna use the overhead rack, but hey. These are heavy freaking duty, holy cow. Okay, so this is the wall mount. So we have one wall mount. As you guys can see, I keep my rods next to the display case of baits I don't use. Uh, so this would easily be a part of that. Super heavy duty, looks to be like silicone, co is that exposed? No, yes. So it's exposed right here. So it's like silicone coated. And I think the idea is that it's a free hanging rack. So unlike the racks I'm currently using where there's a base, like a lower and an upper section, uh, this allows them to hang freely, which I watched one of their videos. Looks like it prevents the issue of the reels knocking into each other. And as you can see here, you can kind of stagger them if you need to, which is cool. I think it's a cool concept. It's got different widths to it at different parts. So There's like skinny section, fat section, skinny section, fat section. Like, I don't know what that means. So we're going to figure this thing out. We got to get it mounted. So did they give us hardware? Is there hardware in here? Yeah, it looks like there's hardware in here. So we're gonna have to bust this thing open and see what that's all about. And it looks like just two mounting bracket spots. I'm assuming it's supposed to line up with the studs in the wall and I don't have to use uh, drywall hangers cause this thing's heavy. And with all the rods on that, that'd probably be bad. So it probably does line up with studs. We're gonna see. Let's open the other box real quick first. Holy cow. Okay, this was the heavier one for sure. Okay, so this one is the ceiling and wall mount. So ceiling and wall mount. And this one's a little bit different. It says it'll hold just about anything. So this one has two because it's ideally for the ceiling. You guys can see that there. It goes up on the ceiling and you can run it both ways. Intriguing. I can see using this in my basement and it could be a great way to overhead store a lot of my old combos uh, and classics that I have like from my grandpa and stuff that I'm not fishing with, uh, but that I currently store inside of a five gallon bucket, like, uh, like, a, like a monster. So could possibly take care of them a little bit better. So overall looks pretty cool. It's toothy. I think that's why they call it the Piranha Rack. Plus they're from Florida. Uh, maybe, maybe they deal with piranhas down there. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to bust this thing open. We're going to install all these things. We're going to see what it looks like. And you might see a little bit of a change in display if I like this thing. This one being super long. <laughs> I could see uh, having all of my rods potentially on one side. Uh, maybe we end up just putting them all over here instead of some behind the door. I really don't like opening my door into my, my, my reels. It's not ideal. So we can change things up. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a little construction. We'll come back a little bit later and I'll tell you guys what I think. Once I get a chance to install them, hang rods and reels from them, test them out, 
you know, see, see, see what I think. So I'll let you guys know how the install went, if they had all the parts that I needed, if it was easy or not, and then I'll show you guys via Handycam. I'll take you guys with me to see how they hold up. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we got the ceiling rack installed in my basement. Luckily for me, like the studs, I could just go lengthwise on them. It's just holding light fishing rods, no big deal. Uh, but we got it installed. The only issue I had, you guys can see as I picked my own screws out with the star bit, is the included screws, like any time you get included screws with these things, is they're just like the most ridiculous, strip outable, you know, Phillips head style kind of screws. D I digest. So here's what I was talking about. <laughs> this is my, oh, if you're... yeah, I do still have a snowboard. Uh, this is a Rosignol and it has a really cool little mustache on it and a tuxedo. Anyways, this is my bucket of unused and old fishing rods in a bucket. I wasn't lying. Uh, so we're going to take these out of here and we're going to put them up there. Let's go. All right. Check it out. Got it set up, man. I'm actually pretty happy with this. The one issue I did run into, you guys can tell these are really old setups. These are like my grandpa's old rod and reel combos. Uh, it's pistol grips don't fit through this. So if you have like this classic pistol grip style, that ain't gonna work. But I did end up figuring out a way to jerry-rig this thing, but check it out. So you just put this on, you know, just above the reel seat there, and then you run it and you can crisscross it. There's plenty of room here. You could you could put like 20 rods on this setup, by the way. But yeah, so you can rig it that way and then run the tip over, just crisscross kinda. Well, there we go. So I got a bunch of the old setups in here, off the ground, out of the bucket. I'm happy with that. And it's it's got like this silicone grip to it, so you know it's not like gonna damage anything either. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. And they're super heavy duty, man. Two screws, I could pop more screws in here. Like I said, they're just light fishing setups. I'm not too worried about this or anything. So I like it. I'm happy with this so far. So that's the ceiling get up. Let's go back upstairs and do the wall mount. All right, guys, so we got the piranha rack up on the wall now. I uh, decided to just throw it up here. This is the only spot where I really had like studs that would line up well enough. This area, unfortunately, on either side of the base, <laughs> there wasn't enough room for the studs, so that sucks. But uh, this is like what I was using before. This is a very basic one you guys can get at like any sporting goods store. Uh, it's got like the styrofoam and it's kind of a pain in the butt to put things in. You need the base rack as well. And then the reels, like they get in the way of each other. So what I thought was cool about this is that you can just rack these really easily. So this is like uh, my big lake rod, right? Big lake spinning rod, bigger reel, all that stuff kind of gets in the way. But the silicone on the rack here just kind of like holds it. So you can just stick it in, it holds really well. You don't even have to have it all the way back there, but you can drop it down a little bit, try to get to a point where it's a little bit thinner, and go back further, right? So we have the wide gap for bigger rods, and we got the thin gap for skinnier rods. So uh, let's take like this guy. So this is a split piece from my Cast King Perigee rod, which comes with a medium option and a medium heavy, and I never have anywhere to put this thing. So now it can actually sit in this rack and then we've also got, this is my tank testing rod. It's a little dock runner, cheap little ultralight kind of setup. It's super short as well. So just never fit into this rack. It was too short for that. So this actually works pretty, pretty well for it. The other cool thing about this I'm seeing is that these just free hang, right? And you can alternate where they're hanging. It might not look like the most amazing, but it's definitely something that's a great utility. Uh, and I think it'll save you a lot of space. But those reels, like, you don't really have to worry about them running into each other because I could just raise that one up and it'd be out of the way of that one. No problem. But there's also enough room on this that you probably could have, what do I have on here, like six right now? You probably have like, I don't know, 15. You could probably deck this thing out. As long as you staggered them, like up and down, you'd be fine. So I think all in all, pretty cool setup. Easy install, two screws. Again, I decided to just use my own screws with like a star bit instead. It was just easier to mount that way than those like cheaper machine screws that always strip out. But there we have it. All right guys, so that is the Piranha Rod Rack. We got it set up, pretty happy with it. I'll be testing it out over the next couple of weeks. I'll let you guys know if anything changes. 
Uh, but if you want to check them out for yourselves, it looks like they run about 30, 35 bucks. Uh, that wall mount's like 30 bucks. The $35 one would be the ceiling mount because it takes the two plates. Uh, but I think they, they're sturdy. I like the silicone kind of grips onto the rods. I'll let you know if they start falling off or something like that, but so far so good. Install was easy, a lot easier than uh, my cheapo setup. I think I have just like the Berkley's. It was one of the styrofoam ones back there. That's just like the Berkley mounts. And they're cheaper, like 15, 20 bucks, but I mean, it's a lot more, it's more screws, more installation. It has to have the base level. I don't like the styrofoam on those, never did. So I've been looking for a new solution. It was really cool that these guys reached out to me. So thank you, Piranha Rod Racks. I appreciate it. Again, if you guys want to look at them yourselves, go check out www.piranharodracks.com. Let me know what you think. Let them know Burley Fishing sent you. If you guys like reviews like this, or you're looking for some unboxing videos, fishing videos, things like that, you might want to stay tuned. So consider subscribing to Burley Fishing. Smash the like on this video. Ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. And we'll see you guys out on the water or in your office, or wherever the, wherever the heck you are.